get messages from girls, guys. You absolutely will. Yeah. And you just use it, like you said, as a sourcing mm. thing. But I think where guys fuck up is they, oh, yeah, I'll send you some money or I'll do PP. I'm like, fuck no. If a girl approaches you with, oh, I want an allowance or I want to be spoiled, you say, no, I don't do that. But don't be confused, fuck though, no. because it's only because of the higher perceived status, too, as well. That goes yeah. a long way. Yeah. 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 I think you've just got to have certain red lines about what you're yeah. going to do. Agreed. And basically not giving them money is, is, is the main one. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, using it as a filter. Guys service, fuck that one up all the time, man. Yeah, absolutely. But no, you're right. Because I think I think there's two very distinct groups, isn't there? There's the, Like you said, there's the ones who just who just want a load of cash. And they're like, yeah, I want to, I want you know, Dior handbag. I want five grand a month, whatever it is. And then you've got the other ones. And they tend to be more like, I'm just looking to meet, I'm just looking to travel, I'm looking to meet like a high value guy, I mm-hmm. want to meet more interesting kind of intelligent yeah. guys, that kind of thing. And that, those are the ones, those are the ones that you want to, those are the girls you want. Yeah. yeah. Because, because, and I, and I always tell guys like, you got to put yourself right, go into like a dream world, right? You kind of almost have to put yourself in a female shoe so you can understand. A lot of girls, when they go on these Tinder, Bumble and Hinge dates, the reason why so many women don't take them seriously is because they'll show up on a date. They got to be awkward. Yeah. He won't know how to speak uh, properly. He won't understand tonality. He won't have interesting stories. He'll split the bill with her. <clears> like <throat> girls go on these dates a lot of times and they're like constantly underwhelmed because let's be honest, guys, a lot of dudes are fucking losers. Like a lot of guys aren't watching content like this. A lot of guys aren't understanding frame. A lot of guys yeah. aren't a red pill aware. So they're fucking simps. They're, they're weirdos. They're awkward, whatever it may be. Even if they got money, they're strange. Yeah. So girls go on these dates and like, what the fuck? So if I'm going to deal with a lame, at least let me deal with a lame that has money. So your job is to come in and not be that, not also not be lame and also be successful. That's when you fucking got them. Yeah. But the, so, but that is a really interesting topic. And that leads back to almost to the cold approach stuff. Cause what, cause what we're realizing increasingly is that a lot of guys, guys who are drawn to this, to, to, to that kind of content, who know, who need training in this stuff, they tend to be a little bit, we're using the word flannels. They're kind of flannels. You know, they tend to, okay. they're, they're just sort of like, they, they're a bit weedy. They're a bit weak. They're a bit, they don't really put themselves across in the best possible way in ah. front of the women. So what you're okay. saying, like on yeah. the date, they don't express themselves well. They're not yeah, yeah, dominant. Yeah. They're not, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And, though, and the reality is those guys can be rich. Those guys can have money. Yeah. They can a even be, yeah. I mean, I've taught guys this year who've been like multimillionaires, you know, dudes who've made money from, crypto yeah they've got the money but they haven't got the other thing it's that yeah. x factor mm-hmm. and that's the thing that we're trying to teach I say that's, that's the most da- I, I think having money and not having frame is the most dangerous thing ever yeah it's it's and, really bad yeah. my muse, we see that all the time because you mentioned earlier bitcoin boys guys yeah. don't make money from uh e-commerce Bro. these all these young kids with money don't have any type of like frame at all and as yeah. a result that's the worst they get finesse all day be rich in your 20s night. with no understanding of female nature or game or yeah. frame you're fucked bro you're literally yeah. like a gazelle in the safari with a bunch of lions circling you because people say all the time like oh men are the hunters etc a lot of a lot of the time the women are the ones that are hunters hunters and hunting you motherfuckers and we've seen yeah. on the show girls mention oh yeah i met this guy at a club he got a, mon- a bunch of money in bitcoin and we just went to his house and finessed them we paid him actually women are the real yo, predators bro he <laughs> paid them to stay there longer so imagine really they were there for a couple hours he said oh don't leave i'll give you five grand each to stay longer five k each just to stay longer with him that's wild but once again no type of Did frame sleep with or him? game no so he's just, yeah. he's like, what the nah, fuck bro nah bro like yo I, I, the more like yeah w- women are the real fucking predators when it comes to shit and the reason and I'll, my reasoning is this there's way more women finessing men than there are men finessing women mm. like it's it's one like yeah for every one guy that's finessing a chick there's 20 girls finessing a dude pretty much like that's why if you think about it, when girls get got, they fucking, it's, Go they crazy. say hell hath no fury like a woman scorn. When women got got, they get fucking angry and that's memorable to them. A guy, special. How many times we've been got? Many yeah. times. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't even remember anymore. I've been got so many times, but like, that's just how it is. Like I was, women really are the real predators because they're more of them are good at it than men are. It was so impactful. They made a whole series on Netflix. Yeah, because you're right. That, because of that. With the fucking Tinder swindler. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. A woman finesses a dude? Another day in the office. Do you think dude finesses a woman? <laughs> fucking Netflix special. <laughs> Movie. Yeah. Sorry. Do you think that's because girls are more like emotionally intelligent? They kind of or yeah. they're a bit yeah. more they're a bit more Machiavellian as well, aren't yeah. they? They yeah. can sort of they've they've got that finessing down when yeah. they're quite young, you know? Yeah. They've had so There's many a... experiences with men from the time they were like fifteen years old onward that they know, for example, if he's gonna be weak, he's gonna be strong, he's gonna be a guy, a bad boy, a nice guy. And once again, with that many experiences, I'll take advantage. This is this is what I say, right? To all the because you know people get mad at me all the time, and me and you, Troy, me and you have talked about this since fucking like yeah. 2019 about like guys got to get out there and fuck a bunch of girls and get experience. Yeah. People get mad at me when I say 50 girls, right? And then they're like, oh, that's too much, or blah blah blah. And then I tell them, okay, well, 
let's pretend in 10 years you got a fucking match, a black belt match against someone, right? Who's been training karate, etc., yeah. waxing on, waxing off, fucking training Mr. Miyagi, hyperbolic <laughs> time chamber, all this shit. You got this match in 10 years. What are you going to do? Well, an intelligent person would train, wouldn't they? They'd go to the gym. They'd understand how to defend. They learn how to punch, how to properly strike, how to kick, all this shit. They'd figure it out, right? But most guys effectively don't do shit. And they just yeah. show up to this black belt person to get their ass whooped. Who's that black belt holder? It's a fucking female. Yeah. Because by the time you're 25 and she's 25, she's had way more training with the opposite gender than you have. And she understands how to what, t- what ticks men off, what gets them turned on, etc. And most importantly, she's dealt with a variety of different men. And she understands where you stand in the social pecking order once she speaks to you. Yeah. So she's able to put you in a certain box. Most yeah. guys can't put a girl in a box if they, to save their fucking life. They can't tell if a girl's a whore, if she's a good girl, whatever. Most guys can't even vet a woman properly. But women absolutely can see what type of guy it is and what kind of caliber it is. Girls know who they can play games with and who they can't. Most guys don't. So I say, yo, you need to get out there and fuck go to dojo and train as well because this is a very important decision you're going to make. If you pick the mm. wrong girl, it could fuck your life up. But – but yeah, it goes back to what you were saying. I think it's a um, yeah, Machiavellian for sure. Um, they're able to detach soon, easier from from guys, and I yeah. think a, a part of it is biological as well. But yeah, men suffer way more from breakups than women do. Yeah, definitely. And women have that kind of they call it the light switch effect, don't they? Where uh, women yes. can be just like, good point. Yeah, you know, it's What's just there, like yeah. you know, you know, you're with a girl and it's like it's all going really great, and you think, oh, this is brilliant. Oh, just cuddling up on a Sunday watching Netflix, and then suddenly she's like, I'm not happy, you know, and then it's like. <laughs> And it's all done. And she just cuts it off immediately. And there are and studies that like they show that like women lose interest way faster than men do in, 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 uh, in men. Yeah. They and this is the problem. This is, don't you think this is a problem with monogamy? Cause I mean, uh, you know, there's, there's some people in this space, obviously they're promoting monogamy, like marriage and like trad cons. Oh, let's talk yeah, about that too. Yeah. 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 Talk yeah, about yeah, that. But, and it's, it's sort of, uh, uh, but the problem is it's very, very hard to keep something going, isn't it? Yeah. Particularly because of, you know, this this loss of interest from the from the women's point of view. Yeah. And, you to, know? Be, and to be honest, just to add to your point here as well, mm. when you're a monogamous, things become boring, mundane, the same routine. She's yeah. gonna get bored. Versus, yeah. you know what, let's take a trip here, let's go here, let's do this. And they're far more likely to be bored. Exactly. They're, they're the ones ending relationships and being bored. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you were saying? Well it's 70%, isn't it? Or whatever yeah. the, the, 70 the, to 80, the yeah. finish. 70 to 80. They, yeah. They're the ones that uh, yeah end yeah. the divorce. Yeah. So and, and this is I think is another problem because even if the guy does luck out and he gets his girlfriend, you know, he's he finally, after he's been on Tinder for 10 years and he's swiped a million times, <laughs> he's and he's finally lucked out this one girl. And then he thinks all oh, right, okay, now I can sit back. Now I can relax. Now it's all fine because I've got my girl. We can sit. We can watch Netflix. Everything's cool. Oh, yeah. But it just fucking isn't, you yeah. know? Especially if she lives here, especially yeah. in Miami. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. it, and I don't know how as a society we get out of this problem. I don't think there's a solution, to be honest. I think this is just how things are. So we have to learn to adapt. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. What are your um, thoughts on these Stratcons running around?